yesterday's news. Farewell to a Pope. It's a solemn occasion as well as a historic one. Speaker fight stagnates. We have work to do that we can't do. Massive storm flashes Northern California. We're just going to get out of the way, let nature do its thing. Good morning. I'm Deborah Rodriguez with the CBS World News Roundup. Benedetto. History at St. Peter's Basilica today, Pope Francis has become the first pope to preside over the funeral of a former pope, 95-year-old Benedict. First to resign in nearly six centuries, correspondent Seth Doan is in Vatican City. A somber funeral concluded the nearly decade-long chapter in which there were two men in white at the Vatican. You have one senior, Anthony Figueredo, says Benedict XVI will be remembered as a great intellectual. There are crowds gathered here, but nothing compared to the crowds that we saw when Pope John Paul II was buried. He really never wanted to be a pope. He retired into privacy in a monastery, and so I think the crowds are naturally small. Benedict stepped down, citing age and declining health. That was in 2013, as the Vatican was rocked by clerical sex abuse and corruption scandals. Benedict continued to command respect amongst traditionalists in the church. Will this unleash Francis to bring out even more progressive policies? Will it give him freedom to say, I too will need to stand down? The fight over a House Speaker stagnates as political paralysis sets in in Washington. Congress will begin a third day deadlock after Kevin McCarthy lost six votes in his bid to lead the new Republican majority. Correspondent Scott McFarland. Leaving Capitol Hill Wednesday night after losing his House speakership election for the sixth time, Kevin McCarthy said he plans to hold on for now. Do you have a deal with those guys right now? A revolving door of backroom meetings and a marathon second day of votes. A speaker has not been elected. Couldn't break the logjam. I'm ready to vote all night, all week, all month, and never for that person. The standoff threatens disruptions, especially to the newly elected House members that haven't been sworn in. They might have difficulty fielding questions from their constituents who might need help with Social Security checks, passports, or veterans' benefits. A massive storm pounding Northern California with intense rain and wind has turned deadly. CBS's Jonathan Bigliotti is in Sacramento County. The damage has already begun across the Bay Area and Central Coast. And for at least one family overnight, heartbreak. We had a fatality of their Occidental Fire Chief Ron Lonardi described the events following a tree falling on the mobile home of a family of three, killing a toddler. When I first arrived on scene, a frantic father came out of the house holding a child and said, my child's not breathing. We anticipate that this may be one of the most challenging and impactful series of storms in the last five years. Authorities are warning residents to stay indoors and off the roads unless ordered to evacuate. A 28-year-old doctoral student accused of stabbing four University of Idaho co-eds to death is back in Idaho after he was flown in by Pennsylvania State Police last night. Brian Koberger could make his first court appearance in Idaho today. A horrific find during a welfare check in a small town south of Salt Lake City. Enoch City manager Rob Dobson. Upon entering the home, the officers found eight individuals, three adults, and five minors who had received gunshots and were deceased. Police say all of the dead were members of the same family, well known in Enoch. Officials have not released a potential motive, but say there is no threat to the public. The Buffalo Bills say safety DeMar Hamlin is still in critical condition, but showing signs of improvement after Monday night's tackle in Cincinnati. The NFL is still considering whether to reschedule the game. It's four minutes after the hour. Well, that's today's news, today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.